The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This is the back of the book and at the back is the blurb. A much-loved classic, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, has won over millions of readers with its vivid and colourful collage, illustration and deceptively simple, hopeful story with its die-cut pages and finger-sized holes to explore. This, uh, this is a richly satisfying book for children. Every child should have a copy, Daily Telegraph. For my sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped out the egg. A cat came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami. One lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. This is the end of the book. Thank you for listening to me.